I am Tyler. Um, I'm on the back-end developer experience team at Uber, which currently right now is Go and Java. Um, and today I'm going to talk about how we made Gazelle faster and how you can too. So first, uh, what is Gazelle? Well, Gazelle is a very extensible and configurable automatic build file generator. Um, and so why this is important is because we can create rules that tell it how to create build file generation, and we can use this to minimize how much engineers interact with build files. Uh, and this has really become our philosophy with Gazelle. Um, ideally, a user writes source code. They worry about just the logic. They save it. Gazelle runs on save, updates their build files for them. We can have them add custom directives, which are essentially comments, uh, to do custom behavior and add extensions for certain things like our Uber deployed service configurations. Um, and then we want to verify this correctness on CI. So because of this, we run Gazelle everywhere, so it needs to be pretty fast. Um, and one of the main places it needs to be fast is in CI. So let's talk about what we do with it in CI. The main thing is we take the code change, we run Gazelle, we see if any of those build files changed, and then we reject it if build files did change. And this is because we want the build files to always be fresh to make sure developers don't see random changes to their build files from other people's code changes. And at Uber scale, uh, in our Go monorepo, we have 10,000 commits a week, um, about a million files, uh, and 90% of these changes are less than 10 files, and 99.9% .9 are less than 100 files. So we really need to look at how we can run this uh, in terms of a function of the size of the change instead of the size of the repo. And just for context here, in CI, Gazelle was on our critical path 40% of the time, um, and on average it added a minute. So this is pretty significant. This is slowing everyone down. Um, and of course, most changes are small. This is very true in many large repos, and the size of the repo will only get bigger. Um, so here's an overview of how we optimize Gazelle. I'll get into each of them more over the presentation. Um, first, we remove the index. We don't, we don't want to have to look at the entire build graph to load our, repo or our import path to target mapping. We want to be able to do that somehow with patterns. Uh, Secondly, we did some profiling to see if there's anything specific about our use cases that were making it slow. Um, thirdly, we wanted to run our Gazelle runs on smaller scopes. Uh, a lot of changes don't affect the whole repo, so we shouldn't need to run it on the whole repo. And lastly, we, uh, as Alex from Aspect was talking about, we pre-build the Gazelle binary, so we don't need developers rebuilding and recompiling this thing on their machines. Um, so first, we were able to remove the index with a concept called conventions. Uh, how conventions work are, it's a, the idea that if you change uh, a file, a build file, or a source file, we shouldn't need to check every other build file in the graph to know how to resolve your dependencies. In fact, most dependencies should follow some sort of patterns. And so we can codify these patterns into rules, what we call conventions. So for example, a proto convention maps from go, go go proto to some package, and a go convention would map from the source directory to some package. And this allows us to make our speed operate at the size of the directory we're running Gazelle on, which in most cases can be really small, rather than the size of the repo as a whole. Um, and this allows us to disable the index, which is basically a big mapping of import path to target. So now with no index, Gazelle is really fast if you run it on a small directory. But if you run it from root, it still takes like five or so minutes. And so we, what we can do here is we can reduce the scope of CI by running it on much smaller parts of the repo when we want to. And we did this by investigating our changes. We noticed 55% uh, of commits only change source code, uh, sorry, change source code, 30% change build files. Um, these don't add up to 100 similarly as before because multiple can happen. And in these two cases, the source code and the build files, 
we don't need to run from root. We only need to run on, at most, the parent package of that build file. And this means we're saving a ton of time by running on those five second runs rather than the five minute runs. So I highly recommend you take a look at your commits and the patterns and see if there's any certain scope. You can scope down and run Gazelle on a smaller part of your repo. Yes, find your own wins. Next, uh, we profiled the Gazelle binary itself. Um, this was done uh, by using a flag which we up open sourced, or we upstreamed, um, and we were able to find some inefficiencies, upstream these, uh, and reduce the running from root from five minutes to two minutes, which was a huge win. Try it yourselves. You might have different bottlenecks than we did. I highly recommend you do this. Uh, I think um, Aspect also did some of this with, as they were talking about earlier, it's very valuable. Um, lastly, we pre-built the binary. Uh, so essentially, Gazelle has two rules. It has Gazelle binary and Gazelle rule. And the Gazelle rule can take any executable rule as an input. Um, and it's usually the Gazelle binary. That's what the readme says. Um, but we can pre-build something um, and add a pre-built binary. In this case, it's just a, a file, but it can be uploaded artifactory or, or something to um, automatically run your pre-built binary. And this is great for cold hosts, especially in IDEs. Um, you don't need, when you first open your laptop, you don't need to build anything. It's ready to go and it runs really fast. So, some quick results. Um, we were able to half our CI latency from around 10 minutes to around 200 seconds. And then um, we were able to remove it from the critical path almost all the time. Uh, and then for a local command line, we were able to reduce our P95 by 80%, so developers are happy. Um, special thanks to my team at Uber uh, and to Fabian, who uh, is at BuildBuddy, an open source maintainer of Gazelle. Um, and thank you all for listening. And that's my talk.